Narcissistic people by their very nature are some of the most self-centered, self-absorbed people that you could ever come across. And these tendencies have a negative impact on those around them, including narcissistic parents on their children. And as children are very susceptible to the information that they are being fed from the environment that they are in, a narcissistic parent can have so many detrimental negative impacts on their children's welfare, on their children's mindset, on their children's life. Narcissistic parents tend to condition their children through the disguise of disciplining their children when they're not actually disciplining their children. They're conditioning their children to live on the narcissistic parents' terms. So a few lessons, harsh lessons, that a narcissistic parent might teach you. And one of the first of these is over-explaining yourself, feeling like you have to justify your every decision to other people because you've been trained from a child that you have to justify yourself to a narcissistic parent. Or on the flip side of that, you might not justify yourself from being shot down from your narcissistic parent, from being criticised and mocked and judged and humiliated, that you just try to avoid all sorts of situations to do with a manner where you might have to over explain yourself and justify yourself. And then when you have over explained yourself or when you've not over explained yourself, you analyse what you said and how you could have phrased it better and perhaps you shouldn't have done it like that because you're constantly questioning yourself because you've been trained from a young age to question yourself. A inability to ask for help. Now you might be able to ask for help for your children because it's easier to ask for help when it involves a third person that you care about. However, you might find it very difficult to ask for any form of help or support for yourself because you've been trained by a narcissistic parent that any pleas for help are ignored, they're mocked, you're accused of overreacting, of being too sensitive, of making it up. It's seen as a weakness to ask for any form of help. And in one aspect, you can use this to your advantage because you can become very self-reliant and dependent on who you are as a person and not on other people. However, with anything in life, it's finding that balance that works for you. So if not asking for help is not honestly, and you have to sit and be honest with yourself, if it's not negatively impacting your life, then you, at the time being you can leave it as it is. It's only when it's negatively impacting your life that you need to change something. But you do have to sit down and be honest with yourself. However, if it is negatively impacting your life, you need to find the ways to ask for help. Keeping your personal business to yourself. Again, when you share any desires with a narcissist, they either usually steal them from you and then take the credit for them or they sabotage for them for you or they mock you and they make you feel inferior, they make you feel like you're incapable, they make you feel like you're not good enough. So you fear sharing any form of information or they accuse you of boasting because that's what they do, they exaggerate. So they accuse you of boasting, they accuse you of showing off. So it shuts you down. Now in one aspect in life, there's nothing wrong with being humble. There's nothing wrong with having that humili humility to you. Again, it's about finding that balance because when it comes to a narcissistic parent, they will teach you not to celebrate 
not to celebrate special occasions, not to celebrate birthdays, not to celebrate achievements because they either dismiss it, they take the credit for it or they ruin it. So you struggle to feel like you ever accomplish anything and you're constantly striving for more. Now, in one aspect, we kind of need that growth mindset to keep us moving forward so that we don't stop. So in one aspect, when we've achieved something, feeling like it's not enough drives us, gives us that desire to go out there and achieve more. So it can be beneficial if used in the right way. However, you do have to sometimes to feel that sense of pride about who you are as a person rather than question yourself, sort of acknowledge that, Oh, oh, I did that. I am capable to give you that confidence boost. And then look at what you can achieve next. They teach you to have that sort of distrust, distrust in yourself and distrust in others. So you no longer know who you are able to trust. They kind of teach you to no longer trust your instincts because they gaslight you into believing that your instincts are wrong. So then you can become a bit too trusting within what other people say. Depends. It can go one of two ways. Or you can't trust other people and you can't trust yourself. They teach you a lot of self-doubt where... You just don't know whether you are enough. You don't know whether you are doing it right. Now, we can all have that imposter syndrome. When we're starting anything new, it's a learning curve. It's a growth process. And the confidence comes within the doing it and the learning about it, educating ourselves, learning from someone who has already been there, has already done it and putting our own perspectives on it. So when we start anything new, we can have that imposter syndrome. However, a narcissistic person teaches you that much self-doubt that you can question everything about who you are and what you do. They teach you to suppress your emotions. Now, you can still have plenty of emotions and often they've brainwashed you into the negative emotions and the negative mindset so life can be very tough or you've been brainwashed into feeling grateful into feeling lucky because they will they will constantly program your mind you don't know how lucky you are you don't know how lucky you've got it so you don't necessarily recognize abuse as abuse you just think you're lucky not to be suffering something worse they teach you to question who you are as a person, whether you're good enough to do things, constantly second guessing who you are as a person, constantly fearing responses from other people, from the responses you've received as a child. And because of those responses that you've received as a child, when you express any form of feeling, you then become a bit more aware of how people might respond to your feelings. So you start to suppress them and not show them. Because if you explain to a narcissistic person how you are feeling, if you're hurt, they'll tell you you're too sensitive. If something has happened to you, they'll tell you that you're overreacting. If someone's broken your trust, they'll tell you that you have trust issues. So you have that self-doubt about your own valid feelings. They teach you how to people please and to forgive. They teach you that you must put yourself last. And if you don't, then you're selfish or awkward because they will tell you you're selfish and awkward if you don't put your narcissistic parent first. They, because you have the empathy to care, they will make you feel so guilty if you dare to put anything before them. So they teach you to people please because 
when you're giving the narcissistic parent the validation and attention, they will give it back. Whereas when they're not getting the validation and attention that they desire because you're growing into an independent person with your own friends, they get offended, they sabotage it, they sulk, they guilt trip you, they tell you you don't appreciate them and you learn to please other people. They also teach you to forgive too often. People make mistakes, so there's nothing wrong with forgiving, forgiving once. However, when they repeat that mistake, that's our lesson that that's who they are and they're not going to change. Yet a narcissistic parent will play down their behaviour and guilt you into forgiving them time and time and time again so that they can continue exploiting you. They teach you to hold on to so many feelings of guilt. They teach you to make your choices over your feelings of guilt. So when you create a boundary and someone guilt trips you, you give in and please that person. They teach you to feel inferior and like no matter what you do, it's never enough, which is often why you can strive to achieve more. And again, if used in the right way, if you can sit down and be honest with yourself and recognise, you can achieve a lot because you're always trying to achieve. Yet it's getting out of your comfort zone that they've pushed you into where you daren't for fear of criticism and judgment and self-doubt and not being enough and doing it anyway and proving to yourself that you can and that you are capable and losing the programming that your parent taught you to program your mind in a way that works for you. If anyone has any thoughts on this video, please do add those into the comments of people reading through. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support with the channel. It's greatly appreciated. If you are new to the channel, I'm Elizabeth Shaw. This channel is all about narcissistic behaviour to give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with within your life and to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact and different methods to find what works for you to help you understand and overcome narcissistic and emotional abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, please do subscribe. If you are looking for further help and support in understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, I do have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video description. If you're looking for someone to speak to, I have partnered with BetterHelp and their sponsored link is also in the video description. I do also have a couple of books out on Amazon, A Narcissist's Handbook, which is the ultimate guide to understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, and 15 rules to deal with narcissistic people if you're unable to go no contact. I shall link those into the description also if you'd like to check those out. Go out there and create the day that you deserve, because you do deserve to have an amazing day. Bye.